I started back about nine years ago here at the New York Hall of Science. I started out as a volunteer and I was super happy to actually be part of the New York Hall of Science, even as a volunteer, because I used to live across the street. When I first joined NYSA, I knew I was into museums and I knew I was interested in science. I knew this was a museum that I liked because I visited as a child, but I wasn't as confident or as much of a leader as I am now. I was really afraid to approach people and talk to them. Through NYSA, I kind of learned to grow into that position. I started here as an explainer trainee and I became a program explainer. When I first started here, I was a very awkward teenager and I had very limited social skills. I was very, very scared to talk and interact with visitors. Once I became an explainer, the big thing came where I had to do science demonstrations and really be on the floor. I was a little fearful, but I think that with the help of ELT and like my coworkers, I got over that fear and you become a little bit more comfortable and you start talking with people. I'm a first generation American. My parents were born in Ecuador and they immigrated to the United States. I was the first to graduate high school here. I was the first to actually go into college and also get a master's degree here. I was born in Brooklyn, raised in Queens, background is Trinidadian. Both of my parents came from Hong Kong. My parents both went to NYU and they actually met at computer science class. My dad has always brought me to museums when I was younger. My mom has always encouraged me. The Science Career Ladder allows the youth to grow and understand what their place in the world is. It's one thing to know a subject, but it's another thing to be able to communicate it. And what NYSI does is that it allows people to communicate their ideas and provides them different ways to communicate. The Science Career Ladder brings out the best in all of the individuals that are in the steps. I was just very eager to learn. They just gave me that push that I needed to get out of my comfort zone and effectively communicate my science demonstrations and also continue growing. What I want to do is continue on getting my Master's of Arts in Teaching where I will then go on to teach high school art science. I learned different ways of teaching people, the different learning styles, and I just adapted to all of that and put it into teaching the public. You're always learning. You never stop learning. I was able to do a research project with Wild Cornell. Um, I participated in STEM nights and field trips, and I don't think I could have gotten that experience anywhere else. Have you set your mind to something, you can actually achieve it. What our roles here is not just about us and our institution, but it's about the whole world and the impact that we have on the world. What I really hope to do is inspire the next generation to be better than we are. It's a real privilege to be receiving this award. Accepting this award isn't, it is not just about me. It is about everyone that has helped me become who I am today. It's about how nice I helped me grow as a person. I may be at the top of the ladder. There's more ladders to continue climbing.